Hello and welcome to the Board Member Strongroom Overview. I'm Brittany Murray, the Office Manager and Strongroom Admin here with Diversified. And in this training video, we are going to go over how Strongroom works and the benefits it provides for your association. So I wanted to start off with why we use Strongroom. Number one, less paper. Approving invoices is very paper intensive, which tends to open the door to mishandling and lost invoices. So with Strongroom, we have an electronic archive of all invoices for your association. Number two, invoice searching is easier. With Strongroom, you have access to an online system where you're able to search for historical invoices very easily. And I'll show you how to do that in just a few minutes. Number three, better controls around invoice approvals. With Strongroom, your association can ensure all required approvals are met and no payments can be made without them. And number four, approve invoices from anywhere at any time. This is extremely beneficial. Instead of waiting to sign checks by mail or at board meetings, invoices can be approved by you at home or at work, really anywhere that you have internet. And number five, audit trail of approvals. Strongroom tracks every action that is taken on an invoice. You have a timestamp record to reference back to if that was ever needed. And lastly, security and fraud prevention. Strongroom can reduce the number of checks and drive more electronic payments, which provide faster payments and reduce check fraud on accounts. And you may be wondering, how are these invoices getting into Strongroom? Well, we have a few different ways. Diversified receives invoices in the mail for your association and we scan them into the system. Or invoices can also be emailed to invoices at diversifiedprop.com. And once those invoices are uploaded into Strongroom, the designated community services, services associate or assistant community manager is alerted and they review the invoice to ensure it is assigned to the correct association and vendor. They also code the invoice based on the association's budget and GL expense. Next, the association manager reviews the invoice and confirms that all information is accurate. For example, for maintenance invoices, the manager is ensuring that all work was completed before moving it on for payment. Next, the board members review and approve the invoices as well. And finally, the designated accounting associate does a final review to verify all elements of the invoice processing steps have been completed. This means we have four set of eyes on each invoice to ensure accuracy. Once the accounting associate approves the invoice, the payment is processed and sent to the vendor. As your management company, we have set up this very in-depth and approval process to ensure your association invoices are thoroughly reviewed and coded correctly. So next we are going to jump into the strong room demo. So what we have here is an email from strong room. As you can see, as a board member, I have four invoices that need my approval. Anytime you have invoices that need your approval, you will receive an email from Strongroom that'll look something like this. For board reviewers, you'll also see, see a very similar email, and I'll explain what a board reviewer will see when we're in Strongroom. But before we get signed in, I did want to touch base on expectations. So an effort to ensure that payments for the association are made timely, Diversified's policy is to have our team review and approve these invoices on a daily basis. So to ensure those timely payments, we hope that the board utilizes the same time frame. So as you can see here, they provide a link for us to click on. This will take us to the Strongroom sign-in page. Down here, you will see a forgot password and username section. If you're ever having trouble with your credentials, feel free to click these links. Strongroom will send you an email to get that reset for you. And then I also highly recommend saving or bookmarking this website for easy access in the future. 
So let's go ahead and log in. So once you log in, the invoices waiting for your approval or review will be the very first thing that you see. Now there are a few things you can do on this screen. You can hover over the invoice number and it'll give you a quick snapshot of what the invoice is. There's also a post-it note here and this will give you an overview of any notes that have been made on the account. And then you'll notice over here to the left that there's various different filters and sorting options. So feel free to play around with these to adjust them to your needs. Um, say we wanted to look at all of the overdue invoices. All of them are overdue. And just so you know, this is a test account. This is not an actual community. This is just for this training. The main thing you're going to do here is click on the very first invoice. And what you will see is a picture of the invoice that was scanned or emailed into this system. And then you'll notice to the left the community name, the vendor, invoice number, amount, etc. And then you'll see here the expense or GL has already been done. And then down here, you will see any kind of notes that have been made by um, anyone previous in the approval process. If you wanted to see history on the invoice, you can select this history button and you can see that I am the approver um, for every process. So you'll see my name. Typically, you'll see the CSA's name, uh, the manager's name and then it's at your queue. As the board, it's good for you to verify all of this um, information just to make sure everything is looking correct. As we mentioned, uh, we do this prior to um, you reviewing it, but it is great to have as many eyes on these invoices as possible. Um, after you have reviewed the invoice and everything is looking good and you're ready to approve, simply go ahead and hit the approve button here. Let's do the same thing with this invoice here. We're just reviewing it, making sure the amounts match, the invoice matches, the GL is looking good. So let's go ahead and approve this invoice. This is a admin invoice for the month of February, it looks like. Everything is looking good on my part, so I'm going to go ahead and approve it here. And now let's say you aren't familiar with this work and you're not really sure it was done or you might have a specific question on the ice slicer or the hand shoveling. Was it really, were they really out there for that long? So the, what you can do is reject the invoice. And when you're rejecting these invoices, it's going to step it back to the community manager. You do have to put a rejection note here in the internal notes section in order for strong room to let you reject it. So let's go ahead and put a note here. Let's say, not sure this work was completed. Can you please verify Landscaper was really out at our community for that many hours. So something along the lines, some direction for the manager to reach back out to the vendor to get some more information. And always put your initials. 
And let's go ahead and reject this. But before we do so, I did want to touch on, um, it's important to note that any message that you put on here will only be seen by the manager. If you're leaving a note or have a question, et cetera, but you do want to approve the invoice, um, make sure you're emailing your manager directly because as we went over, the next step where this invoice is going to go is the accounting associate. So if you're leaving a note for your community manager, they might not see it. So just make sure you're over communicating that uh, any question or comments that you have on approved invoice is being emailed to them. But in this case, because we are rejecting it, it is going to go back to the manager. So putting a note here will suffice. So as you can see, we're on four of four invoices for the day. So if we just click this My Invoice button here, it'll take us back to the dashboard and we have cleared out our invoices for the day. And next, I wanted to go over invoice searching. So you can search invoices, as I mentioned earlier. So to do that, you would hover over the Invoices tab here and select the Invoice Search button. And to do an invoice search, you do have to select your community, and then the Filter dropdown will enable or the vendor dropdown will enable, excuse me. Or you can opt not to choose a vendor at all and do a search by the amount or the invoice number or the account number, et cetera, down here. So say we are just looking for invoices that were paid in the last 60 days, you can put the dates here and then just simply hit the search button and it will pull all of those invoices that have been um, paid. We got to put paid here um, in the last 60 days. Or say we wanted to know um, we're waiting on an invoice coming in from let's say advanced alarm. You're like, ah, I'm not sure. I, ha I haven't seen that invoice. You can see if it's pending approval. Um, at anyone else's uh, approval step. So say it's still in the CSA's queue um, and you just wanted to see if we received it, you can do that here on this screen. And then over to the left side, you'll see some quick search option, options. You can do the invoices I approved today, the last seven days, last 30 days, um, et cetera, down here. So if you hit today, these are all of the invoices that we approved for the day. And then um, as you remember, we did reject one, so we've only approved three. And then you can also do the same kind of search, but for payments. So for that, you would hover over the payments tab here, select the payment search. Your community should auto populate. And then say we wanted to do a payment search for um, Affordable Services Corporation. And we wanted to know all of the invoices that we have paid year to date. We can change that to year to date and we can pull that report. Or if you did not want to select a vendor at all and wanted to know what all of the invoices we have paid year to date, you can change it back to no vendor here and do that same kind of search. And you can uh, again add the check number, pay amount, invoice number. You can get pretty particular when you when it comes to your search. And then same kind of things. We can pull a report of check payments that were made today. This is a test account, as I mentioned earlier, so we haven't paid any invoices on this test account. And then let's go back to the dashboard here. Let's go back to the payments tab actually. Um, for this, I did just want to, as I was pulling that paid report, I did want to um, announce in a reminder, as um, you know, our software Vantica automatically pulls 
all of these invoices each month and post it to the portal. Excuse me, I should rephrase, rephrase that. Uh, Vantica automatically pulls all of the invoices paid each month and post it to the portal. So if you have any questions on where those reports are, you can definitely reach out to your community manager and they'd be happy to walk you through how to find that. Um, and then lastly, I did want to just quickly touch on the support page. Um, as I mentioned, I am the Strong Room admin, but if you're ever having any questions or difficulties with Strong Room, feel free to reach out to your community manager. They'll get you in touch with me and we can go over any questions or any issues you might be having. Uh, Strong Room does provide um, additional training videos, um, frequently asked questions and documentation. They provide a ton of training material but as I mentioned, I am always happy and here to help you guys. So that is all I have for our strong room training. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. And most of all, thank you for watching.